Welcome back to another video guys and as you can see we're on the other side and this is pretty much already prepped all I have to do is wipe it down and then we can get into painting before we get into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already like comment and share It'd be much appreciated and uh, let's get straight into the video guys as you can see we got everything sanded we wiped everything down tack clothed it and then we seam sealed and uh already mixed up the primer I was letting that sort of uh chemically react it takes about 15 20 minutes for it to fully react and everything and uh yeah so pretty much what we're gonna do is we are going to epoxy prime this entire bed uh do two coats underneath and uh, get it really thick underneath there. And then we're going to come back and get the color on. So this is gonna be a carbonized gray. You can see we, uh, we drilled some holes in the CZ excavating as well as the Wicked Works up top. We are going to backplate that with a piece of aluminum. And I think it'll look really cool in contrast well. Uh, whether it's gonna be polished or just bare aluminum or brushed, uh, Either way, we'll figure that out. And uh, yeah, I think it'll look cool when it's all done. So we're gonna get right into priming right now. got this prime and all painted up as you can see this is the carbonized gray and then you'll see the aluminum plate behind there to define the CZ excavating as well as the Wicked Works so that'll be really cool and then once this is all dried up probably tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna wait till just to give it some time to really harden and you know dry up so came out really nice looks really good we're gonna get this installed tomorrow get it all the electric in or all the lighting wired and pretty much get it on a truck guys so i got the license plate bracket on the light that is wired and uh, i just got to plug that in along with the left and right uh quick plugs or whatever you want to call them connectors uh, i made um two pieces almost like that 
So I made a piece that goes here so that we can just put that on and bolt it through, not have to worry about it. And then same with here, I got one that hoops under and around, and then it has the two uh, 3 8 nuts and then the 5 8 nut on the bottom. So that way we don't have to sit there and try to, like, you can't get back here. There's no way to get back here. And there's no clearance like on my normal beds, like that bed, I can get up underneath and actually, you know, get my hand over, but, and here we have everything all wired up. You can see the pigtails are hanging down on the back. But it looks really good. Double checked everything, triple checked everything, made sure all of the electrical works correctly. And um, you can see we plated the backs of the letterings. I think it looks a lot nicer like that. Gives it sort of a different look but that's just a piece of aluminum plate. We cut the size and then we painted the back flat black and left the front just exposed aluminum. So that looks really nice there. And now we just have to rig this up and not scratch this, which what we're gonna do is we are going to take a piece of cardboard and put it over this and then we'll take our blocks of wood, put them over it so that our force can sit up and we have something to push against. And then we're going to strap to these two sets of points and lift this very nice and new fresh paint job up and hopefully out onto that truck. Right, guys as you can see we are done everything is wired up it's all bolted down besides the filler neck which I had to do right now but that's no big deal and then we got the mud flaps on cut them to 22 inches they look really good I don't want to have them drag too much on the ground and just a subtle amount of lights. I think it looks really good. Matches really well. But yeah, this was a cool build. Cool color. Very hard color to paint, as I said. But uh, thank you guys for watching this little build series on this flatbed. Well, hot shot flatbed, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you watching. And I will see you in the next video.